We checked uh, the moves after knight d7, d4, we checked knight b6, bishop b7. Now we are approaching the main line, which is uh, the move bishop f6. On bishop f6, uh, here we play a4. Important to remember this. It's a little bit different from the previous examples. This is a different play for white. Because now we are not in time to play knight d2, because on d4 is hanging, so we have to open a new ideas for white new front and one of the main idea of the move a4 is also sometimes to bring the knight from a3 to attack on b5 or, or from c2 to go to e3 or to b4 this is more or less our ideas in this uh, setup when they put bishop f6 uh, after a4 let's see if some side moves before going to the main lines in this chapter we will say the uh, video we will check only the side moves for example, knight a5 if he goes, then after bishop c2, uh, b4 is wrong now because of d5, and on bc3 we simply play b4, very typical, and now again our these two knights are completely misplaced. On uh, knight a5, bishop b7, if they play. Oh, so, sorry, knight a5, bishop c2, bishop b7. Then uh, again, like in Romanian variation, we go for d5. Uh, now the difference is that, uh, for example, now c6 is not so good because the pawn on d6 is hanging, so he has to waste time with that as well. Uh, in Balashov Furman game, went knight c4 after b3, knight c, b6, a5, knight c8, b4, c6, dc, bishop, c6, knight bd2. White had very comfortable setup. After knight e7, knight f1, knight definitely goes to e3. And if d5 now, then knight g3, rook c8, and knight g5. Balashov had the advantage against Furman in 1975. Um, uh, another move on after knight a5, bishop c2 can be here to play uh, knight b6 in order to attack something on a4. But uh, on knight b6 we can already be play before because this, as we say, two knights are looking for one square, so he cannot go with both knights at the same square. After knight a c4, one knight knight is there, the other is uh, pushed away. Uh, a5, knight d7, and now bishop b3. We want to spoil his structure by taking on c4, and later to take care about this pawn. This was played in uh, Fisher against Matanovic in 1968. Uh, after bishop b3, Matanovic took on d4, cd4. And played c5. Bishop f4. Here uh, Matanovic took on d4 which gave Fischer very good play after uh, after um, taking on c4, bc4 and knight takes uh, and bishop takes d6 first. The point was that if d3 then e5 and uh, these two pawns are very weak the idea is after bishop e7 knight e3 why black is losing both of them. Um, that's about it. altogether about 11 knight a5. The idea of black to attack to get some tempos, uh, to get use of these tempos with knight a5, is not really working because um, in case of uh, knight a5, bishop c2, knight b6, white has very strong idea before i5, gaining back the tempos and later taking care about this knight on c4. In case of uh, bishop b7, we go for d5, and again, this knight on a5 is misplaced. 
So practically this is uh, not the best idea for uh, black to play knight a5. Interesting can be rook b8, after which we of course get the um, file, the a file we control after since he left it. And again here we can go for d5 and knight a3 with advantage for white. That was on pallets Shome played. This is one option because after b4, c b4, rook b4, bishop d2, rook b8, queen c2, knight g6, bishop a5, advantage for white. Uh, and the other option is uh, not to, to decide for the moment anything because if they take on d4 we're still uh, controlling the center so we are happy with that as well. So the other possibility for white is to play here bishop e3. And uh, let's say if b4 then d5 and knight e7 c4 and on knight c5 bishop c2. Later this uh, square we will control very well because we'll play knight d2, maybe we'll take on c5, then after knight b3 and we will come with other pieces and simply take this pawn. So this was Greenfield Mammoth 2010 Israel Championship. On 13 bishop e3, knight e7 can be played, trying to make more flexible black's position. And then knight bd2, bishop b7. Bishop c2. Rook a8. Queen e2. C6. Now Kirill Georgiev against Karpov. And Reggio Miller 89. He played here d5. d5 and b4. It looks like uh, almost symmetrical position, but in true, the true is that white pieces are much, much better placed uh, thanks to the better control of the c5 square. Another point is that knight can go to b can go to b3, to a5, and to c5. And uh, as in uh, as in Brayer variation, sometimes another idea can be to play here c4. So white here is has advantage. After b4, Karpov played queen c7, knight b3, knight g6, knight a5, bishop a6, and bishop d3. Important uh, to control this b5 pawn, so he cannot play c5 never. And at some stage, of course, we will prepare this move c4 with advantage for white. On uh, 14, uh, knight bd2, there was also a game uh, short tag disdain, black played c6. Then I will introduce you this idea which we already discussed by the other knight. Here the knight from f3 can go to h2. The point is the same, knight g4, the threat, knight g6, and now knight df3. Uh, queen c7, g3, very interesting idea, taking the square f4 under control on h4 and also preparing maybe h4, h5. This is also typical against the setup, bishop f6 and knight g6, uh, rook e8. Now attacking the weakness on f7, knight g5, bishop g5, bishop g5. Here we can stop, white had clear advantage in short tag disdain, 90-90. Um, let's make a conclusion on this sidelines after 11 a4. Um, if black is playing a rook b8 and knight a5, in both cases, white simply in case of knight a5, he goes uh, back and uh, and uh, play natural natural way. So there is no 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 um, the knight on a5 is misplaced. In the case of rook b8, we take. Of course, uh, use of this uh, open file. We can take on b5 and then either to play d5 and uh, later on to 
to attack this pawn on b5, asking him to open more file, uh, the b file, and then with uh, good uh, advantage on the queen side. Or the most uh, even uh, natural and strong more played is just bishop e3, uh, it finishes in develop development knight bd2, and the main idea against this bishop on f6 is to play just after we play bishop e3 knight d2, just to play knight h2, to create the threat of knight g4, and the uh, other knight comes to d from d to f3. Against the knight on g6, the idea is to always to play g3, and maybe sometimes h4, h5, with comfortable play for white.